Want to talk about the let's, Philly let's comedy fill scene? our boots. Oh. What do you think? Yeah, I don't care. There's yeah. some high drama going on some in the Philly comedy scene. very high drama. What's going on? Why don't you fill the people in? Uh, I mean, if anyone cares. You don't have to is... name anybody. It's just a funny. So basically, it is funny. It's funny. There's a bunch of comics living together, and one of them was in charge uh, of the... Allegedly. Allegedly. Let's make sure we get Well, no, that one out. of them was in charge of the electric bill. I don't know that. Well, allegedly. That's fine. the story. Allegedly. The story is someone was in charge of the electric bill, and the classic move of, like, time to move out, Pico shuts the electric off, and Pico's like, dude, we never got a cent for electric. Yeah. So, so the other the person's comics, claiming it's late fees. And he's like, the no, there's a crude late fees. was apparently just taking his roommate's money for the Pico bill. Yeah. And just... Spending it. Spending it, baby. Talk about Bible tales, dude. That's another That's one. That's a wild It's definitely one. been in the Bible. What's that? You don't spend thou money's roommates uh, roommates money on fucking drink and women. <laughs> so you get kicked oh, out man. of fucking open so, books. So uh, this is such a dramatic event that he may be eliminated from the Philadelphia comedy community. How funny is that? That's such a shitty way to go, dude. For yeah, I would never let that end me. No, just be like, well, fuck you guys. I'll go to the mic. Sorry, I was a dick about that. There's nothing to do with comedy. Or be like, I'll pay you when I can, but fuck, like to like totally disconnect from yeah. the earth. It's like, hey, you know that dream you had? Well, you should have paid your pico bill. Yeah, now fuck. your fucking dream is over. <laughs> So, I mean, I guess your commitment to that craft couldn't have been too strong. Yeah. If a, if a bill if is going to ruin it. Yeah, really. A little, just a Paco. Just a pay it. Pico bill. <laughs> gotcha. Dude, getting run out of the stuff that people got run out for. Yeah, that's... people get run out of the comedy scene here for some really funny stuff. Like grabbing heinies. And... <laughs> well, that's improv. Yeah, improv. If, you're, if you're in the improv scene, you grab, you grab heinies inappropriately, and you get away with it for years. Yeah. And then they get you. They get you. You get asked for pics. That yeah, happened. Yeah. That one guy was asking girls for naked pictures. Oh, fucking idiot. He's like, if you want to be in my improv class, you got to give me naked pictures, which is really? like, yeah. Damn, that must have been a sick fucking group, though. I guess. I wonder how many times that worked. Appa- apparently, multiple times. It sucks to be a lady in that team. If it you sucks didn't to fucking think do that it. matters. That, like, that guy matters enough to send you his naked body. Shame. Yeah. Well, Shame on that dude. Improv's fucking gay. There you go. End of discussion. End of it, dude. You can't come final in, word. If you come in my butt, there's not going to be a baby. <laughs> End of discussion. Final word. Final word here. The blaze. Improv is gay. Somehow it went from a comedian not paying bills to us being like, yeah, improv is fucking gay. <laughs> no, that's that's really funny. Uh, there's a guy who got kicked out for he was harassing women on Facebook. He's out. He's well, eliminated. He said the girls. He said they're putting up. He girls said women are funny. funny. Yeah. And he got kicked out of comedy for that. Yeah. Apparently. Dude. No, I think there's more to it. There was apparently... Oh, there's some other stuff he to hit it on, that we don't know. He basically hit on a girl. He hit I on a lady? He had an open mic. I think he tried to like approach a woman. And I, yeah. I, I, I don't know. I don't, I don't know. know. I don't know. I'm out of my element yeah, on that. for sure. I don't know the don't fucking know. details on that one. Because if they're... The problem is, is the only story that's out there is he's getting kicked out for saying women aren't funny That I think was the final... Facebook. I think that was the final straw. Yeah, but what everybody thinks is that's why he's banned. Yeah. And that's that's not good. Because if you're getting banned for saying women aren't funny on Facebook, that's ridiculous. It's crazy. But I don't think that's it. I think there's a little... You think? I don't know. I have no idea. Yeah, me either. I don't fucking know. Either and way. And the thing that sucks is he's a good dude. Yeah, and it sucks to get fucking... That's it that for you. That we know. But... Uh, Who's next, dude? Who's the razor going to chop next? I don't know. If they I might get chopped. If they hear this, yeah. Thankfully, no. none of them listen to it. Dude, this is too much. People is, are creeping nah, on this thing. They don't fucking creep on this. Is, this you think you would fuck is, them up? This podcast is too alpha. Yeah, it's true. Also, they're not going to listen this far in to get to this point. And we also have a beta firewall. There's I, a beta I firewall. I encrypted this thing if you're really? a beta and you try to listen. So congratulations, anyone listening. Yeah, if you you're listen officially. to this, you're a fucking alpha. <laughs> yeah, dude. And if you're a chick listening to this, congratulations. You're fucking gay. <laughs> the only way you listen to this podcast is if you love sniz. You, ha- you have to have eaten a pussy once to listen to this. Yes, I think, actually, I'm thinking right now of all the people I know that listen I to know, this. I know. My just, sister so listens I, to this, dude. I just Get channeled the fuck that. out of here. <laughs> I take that back. My sister does not do that. I stand by it. My sister has never had sex. <laughs> Shit, man. I don't even remember what we were talking about before we got cut out. Uh, we, you were talking about how it sucks that women are fucking awful. No, I didn't. Yeah, you I said was talking that. about male feminists and, and that they don't know feminists. what the fuck they're in store for. Yeah, but I, I don't want to talk about that again. All right. Actually, I did like it the first time, yeah. but we said some things that we shouldn't have said. Yeah. So it's kind of weird to go back and say them again. Yeah, but I don't remember any of them. I remember a couple. You said women are awful, but they're necessary. Oh, you said they. Oh, you that's right. You said necessary. that like. 
they want to hang out with men because oh, men yeah, are way yeah. cooler and smarter. Well, no, than them. that was I did say that. <laughs> oh, All right. Look at the yeah, crab. Yeah, look me. at the crab scuttle it on <laughs> yeah, the deck. <laughs> yeah. You finally got me on one. We won't, we won't start this. We both have too many bullets in these imaginary revolvers to plug no, each funny. other. <laughs> I was like, well, uh, hold on. I did. Uh, excuse me, I did say that, but. Uh, but right. yeah, digital is going to be fucking lit, dude. We have – there's a lot of controversy surrounding this one. Oh, what's the controversy? Well, uh, there's one oh. comedian. <laughs> there's one comedian who attacked a female comedian at an open mic. How did he attack her? He called her a, a fat white whale or something. Jeez, man. He did. That's what Shouldn't happened. repeat it. Facts on the ground, dude. I'm not going like to fake news on listeners. Like we should probably delete this cast. Why? Well, you're saying horrible things. That's dude. what the, that's what the guy said. I'm you're quoting just re dude, this is the fucking same journalism. Crime. No, this is this journalism. This is not journalism, Matt. You don't. You want me to do fake news, and I won't, dude. I'm so fucking wait. 1776. <laughs> what did he say? I, he said, I don't know. He, I, I just read the thing. He said he was <laughs> yeah, a no, fat no. white, a fat white whale or some shit. He said that to another comedian. He said it to a female comedian. Ooh, a female comedian. Exactly. You can't. You no. Let's. Unpack it. Let's unpack this. Yeah. Let's not approach this with kid gloves. No. Let's approach That's what I'm this, saying, dude. Let's approach with those this. fucking rubber ones. The guy gets yeah. sucked in in that movie, dude. Yep. <laughs> let's approach this with fucking night night cast, <laughs> fucking beer gloves. <laughs> All right. So Seven. a guy, and now his punishment is currently he's banned from that mic forever for life. Forever. Lifetime ban. All right. And he called another comic because I don't see gender. Of course. He called another comic a fat white whale? Yes. Possibly unfuckable, but I don't know. Unfuckable could be in there. Yeah. It's funny if it's not. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but. He's banned for life, The dude. only way that that becomes a bannable offense is if we see gender. It's true. And create that. Safety narrative. valve, dude. It's yeah, a yeah, double yeah. standard. If you got called a fat white whale, if, if a female I got comedian called a fat, got up and was like, you fat fucking blah, 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 I'm high almost, fives. I'm almost the certain I've been called coming. fat by literally every <laughs> Like, I mean. I can't do it. Yeah. She gets people banned. I Well, here's the difference. I ain't no bitch. Yeah. <laughs> nah, <laughs> yeah, I mean, yeah. No, no, no. no yeah. I mean, but, I mean, thought yeah, I had I, something I, funnier, yeah, but. but I mean, yeah. No, no, no. <laughs> No, I understand. She was sad about it. Here's the, no. Here actually is the problem. Yeah, is that he fucking sucks. He fucking, if it was somebody funny, yeah, they'd be like, he All should right. just be banned anyway because he's so. That's fucking why they're banning brutal. Him. Exactly. Yeah. If it was somebody funny that said it, they'd just be like, "That's yeah. weird. You shouldn't have said that." Exactly. And that would be the end of it. They've been looking for a reason. He but tried to just, fight the last host. They're trying to get rid of this guy. But either way, we got him, dude. He's we got him to on digital. the digital graffiti where we get to make fun of him, and he is not like. And it. perhaps. We get the... Uh, the assailed. That'd be fair. Just for one round, she gets to come on... Yeah. And fucking... Fucking blow it out, I don't know. <laughs> you think that's how you should talk, dude? What? I'm saying blow it out. Fucking get it out you of You know what you're doing, dude. <laughs> <laughs> you had one too many sighties, dude. How many sighties have you had? This is one, but it counts as like three beers, so... <laughs> <laughs> I think you had a cider on the way home, dude. This can is like a three-second fucking swig of Jack, basically. I thought about drinking a cider on the way home, but I didn't. I knew you'd judge me if I came in here with a cracked can, dude. If you walked in here with a <laughs> fucking buzz on, dude, from I your sighties, <laughs> I'd be ticked. can't believe you just said that about that female comic. I didn't say anything. This whole podcast is not this good. Is good stuff. All right. I'm digging it. You know what's funny? That, like, other the, only the comic listeners uh -huh. will be like, oh. Yeah. Everyone else is just like... Who gives a fuck? Business is fucking usual, dude. It's very funny. It is true. Like, you and me are kind of, like, awkward about this conversation. Well, we know, you know what I mean? We yeah. know how fucking, you know, but blame everyone if, is. Like, I'm thinking of uh, of dicks and fucking pug and truth. all the boys and truth and fucking dude, T. Alfred. The rest of the world operates normally, dude. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Totally normal. Did you hear that guy yeah. got fucking fired from his video game job? Who? This guy apparently founded like a uh, a software company or some sort of like video game design. And on National Women's Day, when they all like basically copied off the Mexicans and didn't go to work one day, he uh, whoa what? Yeah, remember like the National like whoa. Immigrant Day? Whoa, whoa. whoa. <laughs> National Immigrant Immigrant Day. Like the Mexicans didn't go to work. Okay. And like he showed like this is how fucked up it is if we're not here. And I think on Women's Day, a lot of women didn't go to work. 
Well, or there ta- there was talks of it. So this and, one guy, and every workplace improved. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Nobody fucking fought or argued. And <laughs> 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 but no, this guy, and he's like the CEO of a fucking like software company. Put his feet up on his chair and was like, "Happy National Women's Day, peace and quiet." Finally, oh. dude, they like he had to sell his portion of the company that people went at him. He made the same hacky joke we just did. <laughs> Basically, yeah, and, and he got, got fucking punished, dude. They like he had to like step down. Well. All the fucking bull cuts, dude. The bulldogs yeah, that sucks. Down. That's actually kind of funny for an unfunny guy. To, that's, that's, that's a good funny. joke for an unfunny guy to make. That's hilarious. Yeah. Well, and no one has a sense of fucking humor, dude. So like National Men's Day, we can finally like, I don't know, we can finally do this without it being like, yeah, okay. Yeah. We're coming back tomorrow. Don't fucking get out of the way. <laughs> yeah. That and then that was that was a different night from because I was there for that. Yeah, but you weren't on that, that night. That wasn't on. When you that wasn't the one where I made fun of Brock. that kid. <laughs> Old Brock Turner. <laughs> Fucking God. I was howling. Now there's a YouTube video of me doing that, but there's no context to it. Like, you can't... There's no oh, footage of the kid before yeah. me bombing. That would be nice. It's just me going up and... You fucking suck. Rambling. About like you know you can finger a well, kid. Yeah, the All kid right. the kid went up and like creepily talked about how it's bullshit that you can't take photographs of little children because it's porn. It was yeah, bizarre. He 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 had a premise that. It's weird that you can fuck a 16-year-old yeah. with permission in this state. But if you took a picture after you fucked her, then you'd be committing a crime. Which, Dude, that's, a weird, that's a weird odd. cause to take up. <laughs> yeah. It's like, dude, there's other stuff going on. Yeah, but which part of that are you advocating? <laughs> Go fix fucking like, Detroit's water, dude. Because you can't tell if he's mad that you can fuck the kid <laughs> or that you can't take pictures. He wants child porn. He was, he was pro child porn. I think porn. He, it made it sound like he wanted to legalize taking pictures of the kid also. Good God. So I yeah. followed him and just made fun of him. Oh, it was right after Brock. Yeah, Turner. It was right after Brock Turner. So yeah, also you can't get that reference in the video. Uh, yeah, I'm just like, yeah. it looks like he popped those swim trunks off yeah. and got right up here. Oh my god, that was funny. But uh, yeah, and then I was like, I don't want to ruin it for him. I think he had a shot <laughs> <laughs> Not winning this thing. <laughs> we had like five girls with him. Yeah, there, there were like was, five were like hot five young hot girls, fucking chicks, and they were just sitting there like, "Are you fucking with this guy?" And they're like, uh, "Yeah." <laughs> Jesus Christ. Yeah, I was like, you got to come check out my stand-up. It's really good. <laughs> he gets on stage. He's like, you can fuck kids. <laughs> All right, I'm out. <laughs> it is funny when that misses. Dude, I was even like, last night, the, the more I do stand-up, the more I'm like, dude, this is really, 70% of this is like adult daycare for like maladjusted fucking people who are out yeah, of college. Yeah, for sure. Who just are just fucked up. And that's where it gets scary, because what are we? That's the question. <laughs> that's what I have to ask myself. Like, if, if you are who you surround yourself with. I know. And we surround ourselves with some fucking idiots. I think it's a lion pit. I think you're just you're just crazy. And then if people laugh, it's like, oh fuck yeah, I'm out. Yeah. Like, you're all doomed to death. And then if people laugh, it's like, let them go. And you're like, yes, I'm out. <laughs> yeah, yes. They just unleash a psycho in the world. Like, yeah, he's kind of funny. Fucking here. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Those. If you go to an open mic, you're around the fucking dregs oh, of yeah. society. Totally. Dregs, right? Absolutely. That's the right one. Dregs. Yeah. It's a total dre. It's dude. It's insane. The bottom feeders just <laughs> surround themselves with each other. Dude, it's just all you can be assured that like all else failed. It's just like yeah. they left every job like, all right, fuck, fine. <laughs> and it's a Pepsi commercial. Yeah. Well, that's all, it's all a Pepsi commercial. That's a whole other issue. Then you have the people like that who are like some. Yeah, that's true. You get like all that going but, on. But yeah, you also get the alt right in there. <laughs> like, I should be able to make rape jokes. Dude, yeah. <laughs> when, like, that's hey, done, when that's done bad, it's just like, good fucking God, yeah. dude. Get out of here. Yeah, but yeah, that was funny last night. I was telling you about the one guy who was like impersonate me, and like he's a very alty comedian, so everyone's impersonating him. And it's like, dude, that's all of you guys. Yeah. Like, whoa, whoa, whoa. And I said, whoa. This is this is an ironic personality I've been cultivating for yeah. two months. Check it out. Hey, isn't it weird that I'm awkward socially? <laughs> oh, life sucks. <laughs> I'm dead inside, yet I'm saying it cheerfully. Do you get it? <laughs> oh man. Yeah, it was funny. Yeah, I don't. I don't get that. Even if you get on Facebook now, that's everybody's joke. Is like, it's a video of like a kid falling, and it's like me getting through the week. Yeah. It's like, well, then change. Yeah, that's you waiting for your grandmom's check to clear in your bank account. Post about it on Facebook, you <laughs> yeah, fucking <yeah>. dork. <laughs> Obviously, you like it if you're bragging about it. Hundred percent. Is it funny that I like fail? Yeah. <laughs> Life is pointless. Uh, Life is pointless, that. but I do need Facebook likes. <laughs> Retweet this. Like, share, comment. Yeah, that is funny to me. 
Oh, boy. Through the dark of night, dude. dude. Good God. God. You know what's crazy? I have so many people texting me and calling me like, Shane, how do you guys come up with such amazing material? This is all off the fucking dome. Dude. How amazing is that? All these was, people are like, you must have written this yeah. a million times. How many you guys edit it? Fuck no, nah, dude. dude. We fucking we delete shit. shit. There's stuff. We deleted one thing because Matt started naming victims in the Philadelphia community. That was a mistake by me that I admit to. <laughs> and I'm ready for my band, dude. <laughs> no, it was fucking slip of the tongue. Oh, dude. Do you listen to any other Philly podcasts? No. I listen to one. Which one? <laughs> <laughs> Which one? I heard I there was one. some controversy recently. There was a, there was a really funny one because... Uh, there's another podcast, and the the person who runs it uh-huh. did a showcase. Okay, that was on Friends of Ours. Oh, so the the host of the podcast, the was host of the on podcast, was on a showcase earlier that week. More so prominent, did, did slightly up. more prominent comedian. It depends what you mean by prominent, like uh, according credits to them. According or to them. talent. Yeah. <laughs> according to them, dude. <laughs> according to them, yeah. yes. Yeah, credits or talent? That's the real question. But no, yeah, that, this this particular comedian was on a podcast with our good friends. Uh, she on a show. Yeah, she was on a show, and then she did the podcast, and then she did a podcast about oh, I'm the sorry. show. I'm yeah, mumbling yeah. a little because I've been yeah. drinking. Podcast about the show. Podcast uh, recap about the show. She was on Michael S. Watkins and Ari Fishbein's. Uh-huh. Uh, what's that called? Big League. Big League. Bourbon and Branch. Great fucking show. Really fun. I, I did. Uh, I had a blast. Nominal. Phenomenal it's show. great. Wow. <laughs> Amazing. I can tell you this, though. If yeah. I did a showcase like that yeah. on a show run by comedians that were both funnier than me, yeah, I'd keep my <laughs> <hunt> mouth shut. <laughs> oh, no, dude. No. Oh, no. Delete it. No. <laughs> Good God. All right. What a debaucherous Sorry cast. about that. Matt got a little out of hand back yeah, there. Matt, sure. Matt said some things <laughs> sure. that he should not have said. Sure. Well, anyway. God damn it, dude. That's been the Nightcast. Sometimes on the Nightcast, Nightcast, <laughs> fucking necks get broken, dog. <laughs> some motherfuckers get fucking brought to the table. Sometimes the fucking katanas are twirling, dude. Yeah. <laughs> Careful, dude. Watch out. This you you t- run your fucking mouth, dog. Woo! You get fucking laid out. Just turn into a fucking Rough Riders video, dude. <laughs> yeah, baby. Woo! Some comics Brrr- accidentally ran their mouth pop, pop, pop. and got fucking laid out, pop, boy. Pop, 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 pop. Shit happens, dog. Damn, dude. Talk is cheap. That's a DMX video. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. No, it was good and close. Um, no, but really, you can catch us. Stay Digital roll, graffiti. Second. If you're a uh, straight white man, as long as you're uh, successful and... Well liked, uh huh. And like, got like ninety likes, and people are like, "Disgusting! Who is this guy?" And I was like, "Wait, wait I'm I'm liked. Yeah, I'm, I didn't I'm, know I was well liked. <laughs> I thought all you guys fucking hated me. Well, thanks for thinking I'm well liked. I've been seeing those saying it's like outrageous thing, and then it's like ninety people being like, uh, uh, "Who is sucks it? Is the guy who wrote it? Like he and I keep getting in these disputes." About what? About like, we'll be getting along well, mm-hmm. and then we'll get in a fight over fucking nothing. Yeah. And then we'll be getting along well, and then I'll say something on stage, and he gets offended. Like it just keep like when Trump got elected, he got mad at me, dude. And fucking like unfriended me, and then things were good. Like I asked him because I keep every single time it happens, I'm the one who's like, "Sorry, dude." Like I, I like I because I, I I'm not trying to fucking hurt someone's feelings, dude. You you know. I just don't think you can be a comedian and then fucking cry your feelings get hurt by other people's material. It's like fucking make fun yeah. of it and crush it. If it's fucking if your logic holds up, a room full of people will laugh and be like, "Yeah, obviously you're right." For sure. It's like, dude, you can't. Anyway, that's uh that's the stand-up portion of this. And you know what else? I like to there's some little alt fucking pussies talking of some shit last week. Of course, dude. The boys got I didn't even hear it. Up. I didn't hear it. Oh, it's nothing. They Actually, I don't think they were talking shit. Probably not. <laughs> It's just, still, it's just still, fun to give him a good kiss. The fucking good ring, razzle. kiss the fucking ring, dude. Kiss Maybe the ring. kiss the oh, ring, no, and we'll fucking... give you what five hundred listeners. You can have them, oh, dude. We should. We'll probably we have could, thirty five hundred. Mention their podcast and just toss them like two hundred listens. Maybe. Maybe we'll see how they hold up. We'll see how they behave. I think they've been behaving <laughs> poorly, dude. <laughs> they've been getting a little too big for their britches. If we su- if we fucking sick the shadheads on them, it'd be like the fucking biblical plague of locusts. Also, dude. they're like. Uh, 
Like, you know these club comics? Like, these club guys? It's like, oh, you mean fucking comics? Successful comics, yeah. It's like, you mean people that do stand-up in front of crowds? People who get paid to actually do it. <laughs> like, what the fuck are you talking about? There's, they, they think that there's two groups. There's club comics and alt comics. And it's like, no, there's there's just comics and alt comics. Yeah, exactly. Like club comics. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Stand-up yeah. comics and alt comics. So who's a club comic? I mean, like, one who gets paid and performs yeah. for 250 people? And then an alt comic is like, uh, I'm not good at stand-up, so I pretend I'm better than it. Uh, oh. oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> like the fact that I'm doing stand-up is a joke in and of itself. Yeah. Here's fucking 90 obscure references that only people my age who are fucking dorks get and laugh at. It's Fuck literally... yeah, dude. Dude, that's it. It's literally... Well, that's what I was arguing. I was making fun of uh, one of them. I was bullying him good. pretty intensely. I should not have. <laughs> I felt bad. I felt pretty badly about it. But I was heated. And I was like, dude, what is one thing that you like? Name one thing you like. And he was like, uh, and he named a bad show. And I was like, That's, you don't fucking like that. What show? Like, Stop. What show? Uh, it's a show run by another comedian. Oh, it's like a stand-up show. Yeah, no one gives a fuck about And uh, he did that ironically. And then I was like, what? Like, stop pretending like, I like uh, Guy Fieri and fucking Smash Mouth and Vin Diesel. And yeah, like, dude. Oh. It's like, dude. Just like one thing. Just being fucking, yeah, be somewhat genuine, a sliver of fucking just genuine. One, just Dude, put yourself out there a little bit. Did this fucking hit my mind the other day of how, like, there's people who get ironic tattoos. Like, they'll get a tattoo knowingly, like, this is, like, this thing, and, like, it's, like, yeah, this yeah, is, yeah. like, Jaws. Uh, <laughs> it's, like... Dude, that's on your fucking body forever. You have a real don't tread on me tattoo. <laughs> Dude, I was fucking serious when I got this, and I still fucking am. Oh, man. all right. So this is we gotta we gotta get out of this. Let's get out of this. But yeah, right. dude, yeah, yeah. That's dude, watching those guys try to impress those women cutting. They their come hair. in. They talk about uh, sometimes work. They all. They all. Apparently, all of them are CEOs. Oh, yeah. They're all fucking Gary Vaynerchuk. They're dude. bubbling, dude. They're Every ready. single one of them comes in. It's like, pretty much, I quit what I did. Now I do what I love. Ugh. And like, I, it, like, dude, I just had to fucking support my dreams. Even though that's exactly what we're doing. Fuck yeah. Uh, yeah, but it's like. <laughs> yeah, but if I have a kid right now, I'm out. Exactly. <laughs> it's, it's, Actually, it, I'm in too deep now, dude. That I mean, that's the worst. That is, that's something that's definitely, I think, plaguing people. Our generation? Yeah. Yeah. Unrealistic dreams. Yes. It's like, dude. Here's a hot take. Here's a hot let's racist take, dude. I'm about to drop a racist take. Well, let's have it. It is butt fucking the black community. Wow. Butt fucking the black community. Now you just gotta say it. The level of fucking like everybody needs to be an artist or a fucking dancer or a producer or a fucking dude. It is fucking insane. Yeah, you know what I'm talking about, motherfucker. Those dudes will have full time jobs and do that on the side. From regardless, what I've seen. regardless, it's that, like, dude, that's every black show, community. every black show I go to, yeah, there's three fucking producers, yeah, there's a fucking DJ, there's eight photographers, yeah. It's like, dude, can somebody be in the audience? Can somebody here fucking work? True. That's still that also though affects white hipsters the same exact way. Every fucking person I talk to like that's like, well, I'm actually a uh, blah 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 blah, and yeah, I do yeah, music. Yeah. I, it's like, yeah, New York especially. That's that's oh New my York. God, that's what New I York cruise is. those dating apps and it would just be like a girl with Actress. fucking black hair, dyed hair, and be like, I'm a comedian, I'm a comedian, I'm a comedian. Yeah. I'm, and I was just like, <laughs> it's like, well, first off, what? there's five funny female comics. Yeah, in Philadelphia, dude, that was the funniest. Well. Yo, yeah. shout out Lamar Lee. What up, boy? Yo, dude. shout out Andy Malfreno. What up, what boy? What Andy Malfreno do? Andy. Andy so this was the big drama. What happened? I, didn't even, I haven't been on Facebook at all. This is the story I was given. Yeah. And uh, Andy's a good friend of mine. So Yeah, they're both good boys. Yeah, they both are good friends. Both Central PA dogs, dude, yeah. came up with them. Yeah. So they were, they were at an open mic, Andy and Lemare, and Andy told a joke along the lines of like, I don't want him to sound shitty because this is going to make his joke sound awful. Okay. But he was like, I, I don't like women, but I love pussy. Along that line. Okay. Like yeah. it was of that vein it's of like, hacky, like yeah. I don't know if it was hacky, but that's what I was told I mean, was the premise basically yeah. of like, I hate women, but I, I need pussy. Something like that. I mean, an age old fucking. Exactly. I'm not hating on Can't the guy live for with him. Can't live without yeah. him. I'm it's not hating fucking, on him for it. No. But apparently, while he was up there, they started like playing music to play him off after he said that, and like a couple female comics might have started heckling him after he said it. And How fucking unfunny do you have to be? And it's to only thanks to that. Yeah, exactly. And it's only because Andy isn't part of this scene. He's yeah. not from Philly, so 
they were like, well, here's a new guy I can bully. Yes. They don't know him yet, so I can bully him. And it's like, dude, you guys are fucking nobodies. Yeah. You don't fucking do that to anybody. Well, especially for stand-up, too. And it's like, yeah. dude, my whole thing is like, if I did that to them every time they had a stupid fucking oh. take that I was like, that's absolutely f- retarded. Yeah. Or if you were offended. Yeah. Oh, my God. I get offended by the shit they say. Yeah. If they're like, mm, I just get annoyed by it. It was another white guy that fucking ruined it. Actually, no, that's not what I would get offended by. I'd get offended by them. Uh, but it's annoying when they say that shit. Just it's their like, constant fucking shit. Yeah. That, even that being like, and this is the white guy. And this isn't just females. This is also their fucking. Well, the fucking pussy male counterparts. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That try. The, those dudes are disgusting where it's like. I can't stand that, man. That's what that's what Philadelphia comedy is now. If you want to do stand up in yeah. Philadelphia, just hang out with a bunch of people, be okay at it. If, just you know, befriend a bunch of women, yeah. And occasionally, oh, so here here's what else happened. Yeah, let's go back to this story. Oh yeah, yeah. So after the show, I don't know exactly what happened there, but that's the story I was given. Was Andy was kind of fucking shoot off the stage after he he made a sexist joke. Come on, man. So then. Lemaire, his friend, gets on Facebook and is like, fuck that mic and fuck female comics. There's only five funny female comics in Philly anyway. The rest of you suck. True. That's 100% true. <laughs> he's, he's got a decent point. Dude, that's so now, true. Now, it depends what you mean by funny. That's where it gets fucking dicey. Serviceable. You mean like serviceable like 20 minutes at a club? 10 minutes, dude. 10 minutes at a club? Yeah. All right, yeah. Then you're looking at... And we're not counting some of the, I don't know. Yeah, fuck, that's close. Yeah. It's close to that number. Regardless, I mean, I mean regardless, he shouldn't be saying that. Even yeah, if you agree. 20, say 20 minutes at a club. Yeah, there's three. <laughs> yes, that's the but, truth. But it, he shouldn't have said that. He just made a shitty Facebook post because he was mad that his friend got fucking run off the stage by these people. And uh, it ended up being like a 400 fucking comment post of, course, dude. of fucking... Nobody's coming out of the fucking woodwork like I'm funny, blah blah blah. Dude, and it's, it's like, dude, you do stand up once every three months, or you just started doing stand up within the year. If it, listen, if you're a female comic or any comic yeah. and you just started stand up this year, you fucking suck. Yeah, you're not a comic yet. You fucking suck. It's true. I've been doing this seven years and I'm not a comic really yet. I'm getting there. And you can do forty five. I can do forty five. For yeah. And I'm yeah. just getting there. Dude, they're doing five minutes for people who, like, if you say certain words, they'll laugh. It's nightmarish. But, so there's this huge thing. And then it gets to the point, Andy, or fucking Lemare apologized. What a bitch. He fucking backed down, and he had to apologize. He had to kiss the fucking ring. Because everyone was like... He had to kiss the gnarled idiot. hand. So then, all these fucking female comics come back out, and are like, we knew you were a sweetheart. It's like, dude, Lemare's a fucking idiot. <laughs> he yeah. is not a sweetheart, dude. He's a mean dickhead. Yeah, he is. He's funny. I love him. Yeah. But let like dude, if Lemaire's white, I don't oh, know. Oh, dude, no, that's... I don't know if they're fucking hitting the old but we yeah. love you. No, dude. I don't think they're hitting that. They wouldn't I've heard him say shit like that on yeah. stage. They didn't boo him off. No. But they're all dude, if they if though that whole crowd of like, you know, hip women comedian who are socially pushing, whatever, whatever, if they know that you can't in the dudes, they're fucking lame counterparts but if they know that they can kind of get something off you if you're in a position above them where like yeah. they can kind of maybe if they're in your favor they just leave you alone yeah for sure they don't do anything to you yeah if, if you, you're if some, you book a good show yeah, they're dude. fucking not saying a word to and you. they're like oh thanks for putting me on blah, blah, blah. it's yep. like but if you're a fucking new guy to the scene and you come on and you try a fucking yeah. look there's gonna be shitty jokes there's gonna be fucking misogynistic racist homophobic shitty jokes yeah. and then that's you're what stupid. we're doing at a fucking open mic exactly and if it's bad, just don't fucking laugh. Yeah. Let them fucking stew in a bomb. That's way worse than being like, fuck yeah. Trying to control the ethics of a comedy open mic is like the most... It's just Trying like, to... Yeah, dude. Controlling the ethics of a comedy open mic is fucking disgusting. It's not funny. It's like you're, you're, you're absolutely If right. you're literally doing that, you're not funny. Yep. The part that makes your brain funny hears that and goes, ugh. <laughs> and if you're like, and then it, you're not funny. That's literally that's the that's yeah. it of that. Lemaire, you should have never fucking apologized, dude. Yeah, should have stood by that. Although you shouldn't have fucking said there's five. You just shouldn't have come out and said that. You should just keep that shit to yourself. I don't, I don't. Yeah, I don't even. I read all that shit anymore, and I don't even like. It's like why would you fucking say that? I don't even. I like look at it, and I'm like, uh, okay. Hopefully that's what his apology his apology was. Hopefully his apology was just like, yeah, I shouldn't have said that. 
Pretty much. Well, I, Hopefully that's what he meant. Yeah. It, I hope he wasn't like, all the women in the community are great. Oh, dude. After he posted that, it spurred uh-huh. like five different comics to post names of female comics and like a, a play, a play, uh, what the fuck, a playbill review of them. Like, you know what I mean? Like a fucking yeah, I know like, exactly what you're talking about. So-and-so is a powerful force on stage. Every time I see her, she makes me cringe, but also super happy. She's super powerful. All this, and it's like, dude, do you realize how fucking crazy that is? Yeah. Or how contrived that is And also, is what well? about the fucking chick you left off the list now? You fucking retard? I know. I knew I mean, one of those. It it's ridiculous. It's so contrived. You can't tell me the person doing that isn't in their head being like, yes, 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 while they're like, everyone's going to know how good I am. It's like, dude. Jesus I Christ. saw a couple people write statuses that were like, I don't want to cause drama, but here's a list of five female comics or ten that are phenomenal. And it's like, dude. You think they're phenomenal? Yeah. I know the I know the people on this list. I would not watch half of them for more than fucking 10 minutes. It would be like fuck this I wouldn't sucks. I use the word phenomenal either. Yeah, that's what but I mean. But again, <laughs> dude, imagine again if you're I mean, okay, assuming they're not lying just to butter someone's bread for some reason, maybe your mental capacity, you see someone you're like that was phenomenal. It's like not everyone's fucking, you know. Yeah, maybe true. my my maybe my brain's fucked up. Maybe yeah, that, yours was, is. that was like what it, when he was like, "There's five funny mm-hmm. female comics." Yeah, and then they started being like, "There's fucking 20. I was like, "Well, so does that mean like there's a goofy lady?" That's exactly. Like, qu- quirky. Yeah, funny it's is like, like yeah, that's funny. Sure, f- funny is killing. If you're like yeah. crushing audiences, I'm like, oh, they're funny. There's not five funny female or funny comics in Philadelphia. Yeah, I guess that then they, now you have to use funny. That's what you mean. Yeah, that's exactly. what I like when I read that. Yeah. They're not like that. I'd be like, damn, I was. I can't wait to see that person. Yeah. Otherwise, I'm like, yeah, I've seen them before. They're not, you know, they're doing yeah. their thing. When you watch them on the, anyone who does the open mics, when you who does them consistently, when you see the contest, that's when you're like, all right, this person's better than your average fucking yeah, yeah, yeah. straggler that walks in, practices eight miles in the mirror, and you're like, <laughs> all right, but dude, it's like, you're not that good. That's the thing. Like you're doing it for two years. You're not important. You're not that good. Suck it up. Yeah. I don't know why they have to. But I, I'm telling you, I think it's a lot of emotionally weak people. Who oh, need that dude. constant bolstering. And, and this like, is like, like yeah. for the people that are listening to this that are like, all right, shut the fuck up about comedy and open mics and all that shit. Uh, but that's what it is. It, the open mic scene and any comedy scene in a city is just an army of re- – it's an army of morons, dude. Dude, it is. It's an army of damaged fucking people, yeah. dumb fucking people, and lonely people that are like, this is a good social outlet. Like, well, once yeah. you realize that people are like, I'm never going to be a good comedian, I'm just here doing this open mic. Friends, yeah. Because that's what they are. Yeah. A lot of these people are just treading water. For friends. Just to be like, this is our fun scene. That's, and that's the dude. And it's like, why the fuck are you doing that, dude? Oh, man, that, that's so weird to me. Join a fucking bowling league. Get out of here. I don't why need to fucking hear you talk. Why would you take that mental stress talk? upon yourself? And then yeah. it's like, ugh, and you invite all your friends out, and you're like, come watch me at my show. And it's like, I don't know. All right, we should fucking that's, yeah, we should take stop. a break or... Sick. Hell yeah. Um, yeah, everybody that just sprouted up a little podcast, pay us our respects. Yeah. Um, keep, doing, no, keep doing your thing. You guys will get it. All right. So this is the last time we'll ever mention local comedy, right? Yeah. You promise? It's done. It's done. It's done. Lions don't fucking pay attention to sheep talking shit. They just eat them, dude. They just fucking eat their fat pussies. <laughs>